Hi, I'm Spencer from Spencer Marks, and I wanted to talk about this wonderful Tiffany water pitcher. It is a fantastic example of their aesthetic movement silver. It's mixed metals in the Japanese taste with decoration all the way around. It is nearly identical to one that they exhibited at the 1878 Paris exhibition where they won worldwide acclaim for their Japanese style silver. In fact, they won the grand prize for silverware, becoming the first American firm to ever do so. After the fair, the great English designer Christopher Dresser wrote to Tiffany congratulating them on their success and calling them the first silversmiths of the world. The details on this picture are wonderful. This group of fish here is copper and silver, and you can see that the silver fish has applied fins of copper. Above, an engraved dragonfly rests on a blade of pond grass, and below, a blade of pond grass is applied. The handle is embellished with pond lily leaves and vines and brass uh, rings. And when you get to the other sides, you can see that there's a school of small fish emerging from behind one of these blades of pond grass. A snail crawls its way down towards the base. My favorite part of this is this detail here. This large fish is eating an eel and you can see there's a small fish that is chasing after it, trying to get some of the eel before it's gone. You can also see that along the top of the fish, brass has been inlaid into the copper. This is to resemble light reflecting off the top of the fish as it swims along. Experimenting with light like this relates the piece to the emerging Impressionist art movement. The people who made this, particularly the designer Edward Seymour, would have been aware of this art movement, and it shows how closely related all of these arts are. The Japanese do not distinguish between fine and decorative arts. They believe that all art is art. I can think of few American pieces that make a better argument that we should do the same. Thank you.